everybody, Joy here. Hey, Helga. Hey, I got to say something to my friend Helga in Germany. Oh my gosh, those tote bags and purses. One of them look kind of like a purse that you made. Wow, that looks really, really hard. <laughs> excellent, excellent workmanship. I can see why that lady was so impressed. And I have no idea how to tell you to sell stuff. I'm the world's worst salesman. I'm not kidding you. My mom made me and my sister, yes, made us. I think I was, I don't know, was I even 15, 14? My sister was 13. Um, we were young. And she made us go door to door selling Avon. And my sister was super shy. <laughs> And kind of cross-eyed and wore glasses. And she walked up to a door one time and the guy answered it naked, a man, scared her half to death. And people would come to the door and I would say, Hey, Vaughn calling. Oh, I'd say, I don't really like this stuff, but my mom's making me sell it. <laughs> I sold zero. <laughs> so don't ask me how to sell stuff. I am the world's worst. So what day is this anyway? This is Thursday, June 1, 2017. My Boo Bear and his wife Lauren, who's pregnant with my very first great grandbaby that I'm allowed to have in my life, um, they're moving to Edmond, where my other house is. They're moving there today. And um, I wanted to be there this weekend, but I found out the weather's going to be really bad, and my mom's kind of backslid into one of her moods. Um, one of the um, characteristics of Alzheimer's or dementia is they get a bloated opinion of themselves. I remember Jerry's mother, and she was completely not like that before she had dementia. She wasn't like that at all. She would never, ever brag about herself. But I would take somebody in her room, like I took this home health nurse in there one time after she'd broken one of her many bones that she broke, and the lady was supposed to help her with physical therapy. And I said, Mom, this is so-and-so with such-and-such. She's a nurse. And my mom said to her, Jerry's mother said, Well, how many degrees do you have? <laughs> I thought, Well, Mom, you've only got one yourself. <laughs> so now, today, my mother's telling me that uh, I can't cut her hair because she's an artist and she knows best how her hair looks. So I told her, I said, there's a lot of crazy artists in the world, Mother. <laughs> but she's always pulling this I'm an artist thing on me. Like she's such an expert at everything that has to do with color or style. When I go to cut her hair, actually, I'm going to get the picture of her the night that she came to my house. And I'm going to show her what a good artist she is. <laughs> yeah, I really will. Oh my gosh, you won't believe what she did last night. I told you she's kind of backslid. She woke up yesterday morning. I always go in and I wake her up. And um, she got up and she started walking out to the kitchen because she wants her shake. Where's my shake? Where's my shake? <clears throat> I want my shake right now. But she was walking super, super slow and looked like she could fall any minute. And um, she wasn't demanding her shake and she was hardly talking. I thought, what the heck? What is wrong with her today? So anyway, by the time the day was over, we figured out that her blood pressure was 85 over 52. The girl that had taken it in the morning took it over her heavy pajama sleeve and her heavy housecoat sleeve, and she didn't even get the right reading. So when the nurse came later, I said, can we please take mom's blood pressure without the heavy housecoat on, blah, blah, blah. And um, by that time, I had already given mother all her medication, and one of them lowers her blood pressure, so it may have been really low because of that, but anyway, she took her blood pressure then, and that's where we came up with that 85 over 52. So, no wonder she felt so horrible and um, wobbly yesterday. My goodness. And so, the nurse and I decided with our lightning fast minds <clears throat> that from now on, I'm not going to give mom that pill until the egg comes and takes her blood pressure with the house cut off. <laughs> and if it's already low, we're not going to give her the blood pressure pill that day. So... Anyway, got that solved. She woke up today, no blood pressure pill today, and she's back to her normal self. Only she's she's kind of in that super gritchy mood that I can't stand. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> she looked real nice today. She had her hair curled. So anyway, um, what am I doing? 
I told you guys like a thousand times. <laughs> Sometimes I just want to do something and I never get around to actually doing it. Well, now I'm actually doing it. I'm making this quilt by my favorite, my favorite quilter, Edith the Sitar. It's called, it's probably the Spool Quilt original because it has spools in it. And so if you can see the colors in her quilt, they're all kind of toned down and muted and so <laughs> I told Terry this morning, I said, we're going to call my quilt the variegated, the variegated thread quilt. <laughs> Look at my spools. They are so bright. We have purple. We have pink. I'm just starting the blocks, you guys. No, that's coral. This is pink. Purple, coral, and pink. We have orange and blue. And we have green and yellow, and you can see they're in different stages here. And my favorite turquoises. So, I was going to give you a little tip in case any of you are, are wanting to ever in your life make this quilt. <laughs> I found out, you'll notice with this and with this, that I have 11 blocks of these colors. And the reason is because I went out and I got my yardage off the shelf and I cut one inch strips off the yardage. Well, when you do that, oh, excuse me, y'all, I'll be back. Oh, these allergies. Enough to drive you to drink. Anyway, <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, yes. I started out with the blue, with the turquoise and the purple. And I cut strips off the end of yardage. And so my strips were 44 inches long. Well, I ended up with 11 of each of these colors. And there's only 40 in the whole quilt. And I thought, well, if I keep doing it that way, I'm only gonna have four colors of spools. And that's what they tell you to do. That's how they tell you to do it. And I thought, I'm only gonna have four colors of spools. I, I don't want just four colors of spools. So I came in here and got all of my Batiks out. Remember my batik butterflies and my batik owls? I opened up my big box of batiks and took all of these pieces out, and they're mostly fat quarters. So I started slicing the fat quarters up, and so then I only ended up with five or six of the colors when I did it that way. So now I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight different variegated thread spools, and I thought I could turn some right side up and some upside down, and so maybe they'll look like they're different even though they're the same. I don't know, but anyway, unless you just want four colors in your quilt, don't make your strips so long. That's what I discovered. So anyway, I'm gonna go back and finish sewing the sides on. You take this little doolally that's three and a half by four and a half, and then you sew these one and a half inch sides on all of them. And then after you do that, you sew the top and the bottom of the spools on. So, getting ready to do that. Just fed mom her lunch, did the dishes. She's watching MASH, and I'm gonna work on my quilt. So I'll be back after a while, you guys. And hopefully I won't sneeze and cough at you. Bye for now. <laughs> okay, I just downloaded the first part of this uh, new little vlog, and it dawned on my lightning fast mind. I forgot to finish my story about mother that I started to tell you. <laughs> I'm not sure which one in this house has dementia, for heaven's sakes. <laughs> Maybe it's sketchy. Anyway, I'm going to tell you this crazy thing Mother did yesterday. She was just off all day long. And so she was in her room, went into her room, and I told her that I was getting ready to fix supper and that Jerry would be home in a minute. And so she just said, okay, I'll watch MASH, whatever. And so she fiddles around in her room. She's always opening all the drawers and rearranging the stuff. That's very common. Jerry's mom did that all the time. And so I went in her room to check on her, and I noticed she was in her bathroom. I thought, oh, okay, she's just in her bathroom. And so I went in the kitchen, and I was working on dinner. And Jerry came in. And Jerry was on his way to his office, which is on the way to Mother's room. And I heard Mother say, oh, Jerry, I need you desperately. And I thought, oh, my heavens, why does she need Jerry desperately? So I joined them. And she had blood all over her lip. And she was dabbing it with the Kleenex, and her Kleenex had blood all over it. And what she had done, 
she asked me several weeks ago, she said, there's these little strips they have that take the hair off my chin, and I need some more of them. I think I left them <clears throat> someplace, and I don't have any. I need you to get me some more of them. So I looked all over Walmart, and the only ones I could find were called Nair. And so I bought her, I think, three boxes of them. Well, I've tried to use them a couple times, and the lady that takes care of her tried to use them a couple times. Neither one of us could get a single hair off her chin with them. And so we've just, just been using tweezers and um, a razor or something. So anyway, Mother decided while she was in there that she was going to take one of those strips out and do her own chin, even though it had just been done and there wasn't even anything on it, but whatever. Um, and she got it on her lip. She got the strip not just on her this area here, she got it over her lip. And when she pulled it off, it pulled the skin off her lip. So you can imagine how red and how bloody and how awful it looked. I felt so sorry for her, and on the other hand, I just wanted to, what is wrong with your brain? <laughs> so anyway, we went and got some Neosporin, and then she wanted us to give her the tube of Neosporin, and she thought she needed to have Neosporin on every two minutes, and she kept saying, Joy, will you come look at it? Joy, will you come look at it? How does it look? How does it look? So I finally went in my bathroom, and I got her this big magnifying mirror that I used, and I gave it to her to look at. And so she would pick up the mirror. We're still at the dinner table. I'm doing the dishes. Jerry's in his office, and she's still sitting at the dinner table. And she looks in the mirror. Joy, Joy, come here quick. She'd say, how does it look? How does it look? I'd say, it looks just fine, Mom. It's okay. And I'd walk away. I'd go over to the sink, and she'd pick up the mirror. She'd go, Joy, Joy, come here. Come here. I need you to look at this. What is it, Mom? How does it look now? I said, it looks exactly the same as it did two minutes ago. <laughs> she must have done that five or six times. Finally, I said, Mom, why don't we go back in your room and watch MASH? <laughs> okay, stay with me. Okay, this is the final clip for June 1, 2017. I have something so exciting to show you. Are you ready? I know it's not going to be exciting to anybody else, but it's super exciting to me. I got one of my variegated thread spools done. You want to see? Ta da! <laughs> How cute is that? How cute is that? I'm so excited. I have to quit because I have to go downstairs and start dinner and making barbecued spare ribs tonight. And then there's one spool at the very bottom that's this way, remember? I just love this quilt. And then I want to tell you really quick, another really cool place on YouTube for those of you that are learning how to quilt or learning how to sew or I'm not sure what all this lady does, but she's really, really good at it. She's not a dingbat like I am. I mean, she's like serious and she has everything all organized and she's a really, really good teacher. It is Laura at So Very Easy. If you just go to YouTube and put in the search so very easy she'll come up she has i don't know thousands of videos i don't know how many but she has one with the coolest pillowcase it's the kind of pillowcase that has the little um piping on it and then the little like one inch decorative band and then the flap on the end and i'm sure a lot of you probably made those i've made a hundred of them for charity or more uh, but it's different because in the inside it has the piece that folds over the actual pillow so you can't see the pillow inside the pillowcase because there's part of the pillowcase inside that goes down and covers it up and it keeps the pillow from falling out so it's really cool anyway i'm excited spool number one i only have 39 to go <laughs> anyway i'll be back soon you guys i have to go bye <laughs>